Hey y'all, it's the Muscled Magpie here, and I just wanted to let you guys know that I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. We're about to make a pizza dia. First things first is you're going to want to put butter into a medium heat pan and make sure that the burner is actually on, unlike what I did where I completely forgot to do that. Whisk your eggs and then check the burner and realize it is off and then turn it on. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh good, now it's back on again. We're just going to, head, going to go ahead and open all of our packages because that makes life easier. Should've opened the cheese already, but I didn't. Aw oh, yeah, melt that butter. I love the way butter looks when it's melting in a pan. It's so pretty. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This is actually my first voiceover and I'm pretty excited about it. We'll see how it goes, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Dance party in the kitchen. Don't forget to hydrate. Finally, the pan is hot enough to add the eggs. We're gonna whisk it again a little bit just to add some more air to it and then pop it in the pan. Oh yeah, so pretty. You're gonna wanna make sure that it is evenly coated, so turn your pan if you have to, if you've got pans that are warped like mine and a stove that sort of slants towards the back. Cat hair, fun times. That's, oh no, it was an eggshell, my bad. Wash your hands anytime you touch raw eggs or meat. Ugh. Please wash your hands. We're just cooking these eggs until they're almost done. They're gonna be mostly done before we pull out the tortilla and stick it on top of it. Yeah, it's okay if your tortilla has a hole in it, don't worry about it. The egg will keep it together. Slide a spatula under there. And flip it on over. Oh yeah, look at how pretty that is. Had to get my spoon rest. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some Canadian bacon on this one. This one's for Lee. He really likes Canadian bacon. I am not a huge fan, but I do what must needs to be done for my husband's happiness. We're going to go ahead and flip it closed and then scooch it to the center. Add a little more butter so that we can fry it instead of toasting it. Yeah. We're just going to let the cheese melt just a bit while we get ready to make our second one by cracking some eggs, washing our hands again, and then we'll go ahead and whisk those new eggs. You want to make sure that you leave the quesadilla in the pan long enough that the meat heats through and that the cheese melts. That's why we put butter in the pan. Helps facilitate the melting and so the burning. I'm recording that all way. So loud. All right, and this one is done. That is a Canadian bacon mozzarella and egg breakfast quesadilla. Yummy, yummy. Mine's gonna be a pizza dia because I love pepperoni. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter to that pan. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And now we're gonna add it to, add more eggs to the pan to start our second breakfast quesadilla. Mm. Every time I do my second quesadilla, it doesn't look nearly as pretty as the first one. Probably because I don't wash pans in between because it's the same meal. And there's a lot of extra butter just stuck in there. Taking that breakfast quesadilla to Lee so he can munch on it while it's still warm. Mmm, so tasty. Go ahead and get my tortilla out for my egg. And get my cheese ready. And we go. Hello? Add some mozzarella. Pepperonis, take out the little dry thing that keeps the moisture down, and flip it, oh, no, flip it for real this time, that's right, 
Add a little more butter to the pan. Once again, we want to fry this. We do not want to toast it. That butter is good fat. It'll help on your keto diet. I mean, do what you need to do, obviously, but I like to add extra butter in there. Mmm, nice and toasty. Don't forget to put all your stuff away. Don't leave it laying on the counter. That's never a good idea. Oh yeah, so delicious. Close up your butter. Have a little side dish for any sauce you want. For me, it's Rouse marinara sauce, or Rouse pizza sauce, I'm sorry, because I'm doing a pizza dia. Mmm, pizza deals. So anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else in the future, and I will see you next time. I miss you already!